and welcome to your gold market update for today thursday the 11th of august mike smith senior analyst with gold markets here let's have a look at what's coming across the news right now of course overnight we saw a strong broad-based rally on the back of some softer than expected inflation data all the major indices are either approaching or broken key levels the s p 500 is at three month highs at this stage interesting data out tonight may well push things higher if it comes in according to expectations us futures are positive and moving higher in the asian session in early trading and asian indices are rallying following that us lead with the exception of the nikkei of course which is closed today asx is off its highs it's up around 0.8 percent at the minute it did get up to around about 1.2 percent to the upside perhaps a little bit of profit taking coming out and we do have some significant data coming out later so maybe just a little bit of caution is still there european futures are suggesting a higher open also the us dollar index dropped yesterday on the back of that inflation news and tested six week lows it is fairly neutral in asia at this stage and gold falls after that initial pop higher after that data but holds 1800 at this stage as well in asia oil is trading within a tight range under a hundred dollars a barrel and copper's broken a key level in is trading at six week highs bitcoin also moved up subsequent to that inflation data surprisingly and is testing 24,000 key level at the top of the range again in asian trading today we are at the end of earnings season as we've been reporting all week we did have Disney report very positively after the bell, so we've got a few stragglers left, around about 10% of the S&P 500 still to report. We've got Australian inflation expectations due, and later on today we've got important data, as we've already intimated, with the US PPI and weekly jobs for highlights, as markets look for some follow-through on the good news from yesterday. Let's have a look at a couple of charts that have caught our eye today. We're going to start in the ASX, and we're looking at ANZ, had a really nice pop yesterday. And you can see that strong move through resistance at $23, close towards the highs of the session. Now, we did start down a little bit today, but you can see we've recovered most of that and are trading back to the highs of the session and look as though we could perhaps move higher, potentially up to this $25 level, which is around about 5.6%. On the FX front, we did talk about US dollar weakness yesterday. You can see the USD versus the Kiwi took us right up to potential resistance at 64.40, where that horizontal line is sitting. But we can see we came off the highs a little bit and we're towards the lows of the session today, suggesting that markets for right now aren't that keen to move forward. And we could see it retrace back to around about this 63.50 level. So if we just look at that on an hourly chart, you can see we've got what looks like a descending triangle type of pattern going on. And we are at the lows of the Asian session, as we've already reported. So could see a move down, possibly, as we said, around about this sort of 35 to 40 pit mark to retest this level, perhaps even a little lower on the hourly chart. Maybe even if we get some momentum to the downside and that data comes in a little strong tonight, we could see it possibly down to around about 63. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.